Hey guys, it's me, Zachariah, and it's Thursday, so it's time for a Big Tips Texas recap. Um, I just, oh, so first let me say, I know I didn't do a recap last week. I had 152 million things going on, so I kind of missed it. I didn't miss the episode, but I didn't do a recap, so I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um, but I do have to say, that whole fight had to be embarrassing, especially at the old Warsaw. But I know that was embarrassing for everybody. That's all I gotta say about that. But of course, this week, um, you know, the girls went camping. First, let me just say, um, they're already doing better than I would do because I'm not an outside person. I wouldn't go camping. I stopped being in Boy Scouts because I didn't want to go camping. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but no. So, um, the whole camping thing. It actually, it, it was a really, really good idea for Tiffany to bring that up because it bonded them. And I totally, I, I love that. It was a good team building experience. Um, I was really impressed with um, Morgan, you know, for apologizing to Mimi. I was really impressed with Jillian apologizing to Mimi, with um, Amber. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Amber. And um, Morgan, well, Morgan apologizing to Amber and Amber accepting it. Um, you know, it's good that Mimi accepted it. Um, she didn't really, they, they, you know, she did, she really didn't own a part of anything, but neither did Amber. I have to say that they were focused on Mimi not owning up, but Amber didn't own up to anything either. I'll just put that out there. Granted, Mimi did, I mean, not Mimi, Amber did say something, um, I think like two episodes ago to Morgan um, about it, but I would rather her have said something there too while she was sober. That way it would have meant a little more. Um, but you know, it, it, I, I don't know if they should expect for Mimi to actually um, say she did anything wrong because she doesn't feel like she did. So I don't know if they should expect that. But regardless, I really, really am proud of those girls for apologizing. Um, I think that they should look at that rather than Mimi saying, hey, well, I, you know, I didn't own up to anything. I think they, they should look at that rather than saying Mimi didn't own up to anything because it was really big of them. Nobody had to apologize. Everybody could have just sat there and been like, I don't know what you're talking about. But I'm glad that happened. Um, I'm super glad that Kristen and Tiffany had that conversation too because I don't think Kristen had any ill intent um, by talking to Tinker about the marketing coordinator position. The girl just knew what she wanted to do and went for it. So it, it was no ill will there at all that I could see. And I, I don't, I, I think Tiffany realizes that too. She may have realized it, you know, while watching that episode. So I'm glad that they got that out the way. Hopefully, um, everybody can get along and... You know, I'm not expecting everybody to be best friends because obviously later on in the episode, Mimi, Kristen, and Morgan were having problems. So I don't expect expect everybody to be best friends, but I do want them to get along for the sake of working together because it's nothing worse than hating somebody you work with. It's really not. It's it's a mess. Trust me, I've been there. Um, but Chase's dad. Wow, I just. I couldn't believe he said that to Morgan. Um, I just, I was floored by that actually. Um, and you know, I don't, I don't want to touch on it too much because I don't, I don't know the situation between her and the fam or her and his family. I don't know it. Chase is an awesome guy from what I've seen, you know, on TV. Um, and I, I know the struggle of somebody's parents or somebody's family not particularly liking the person you're with. I know that struggle all too well. Um, so hopefully, I, I really hope that they overcome that eventually. Um, because Rennick's just a job. I mean, it's not like she's, well, for one, she's not a stripper. It's not like she's, you know, dancing for money and grinding on men. And, you know, granted, she is half naked, but she's not doing anything illegal. Um, so it's just a job. But... I really hope that they overcome that, that they get over all that um, animosity and everything else. 
because uh, they're a really cute couple. I love them. And I like Morgan's granddad. He's so, I mean, he's not a man of too many words, but I just, I don't know. He just has that, that presence that, you know, you just love him anyway. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for the recap. I love Big Tips Texas. I, anything I can do to support Texan shows, I'm going to do it because... I mean, if we don't support each other, who's going to do it, right? I know, right? Um, but yeah, that's really all I have for this recap. The episode wasn't too drama-filled. Um, oh, let me just say, Amber, usually I don't have anything to say nice about Amber because she's always drunk. But Amber, you know, this episode, she was actually kind of fun, especially when she was scanning the little kid in the whatever store they were in. <laughs> that was hilarious. I probably would have done the same thing. Um... But yeah, so, you know, tune in every Wednesday at 11, 10 Central on MTV to watch Big Tip Texas. Please support them, guys. Um, but subscribe to my channel. Comment below if you have any comments. Follow me on Twitter at Zachariah. And of course, tune in next Thursday because I will be on time with the recap. Uh, for another recap of Big Tip Texas. And I will see you guys later. Bye.